For the past few years we've been in a bit of an MMO drought with not a whole lot of games releasing and the few MMOs that have released have generally been quite disappointing. In this video I'm going to list and give a bit of a background to every western made upcoming PC MMORPG currently in development releasing in 2019 and beyond. In this video I'm only going to be talking about western made MMOs but the next video I make will be for all of the upcoming eastern MMOs such as Lost Ark, Moonlight Blade and Lineage Project TL. Before we jump into the video though, I'd like to announce that as of today I'm launching my own adventure, RPG, MMO and fantasy themed clothing line called Epic IRL. We have some bloody awesome designs for sale. We print on some of the highest quality shirts in the industry and due to our shirts being print to order, you have a huge amount of variety options when it comes to size and colour. If you order today, your stuff should arrive before Christmas and feel free to bookmark the page as we're going to be adding new designs to it every single week. Go to epicirl.shop to check out our current collection. Orders over 120 euros get free shipping. Ashes of Creation seems to be the MMORPG that most Western MMO fans are looking to to be the next big thing. It's also what appears to be the most ambitious MMO on this list. The game will be entirely open world, made in Unreal Engine 4, feature a mixture of both PvP and PvE content in the form of open world dungeons, instanced dungeons, raids, world bosses, wave based horde mode city defense, PvP arenas, castle and city sieges, battlegrounds, open world PvP, an in-depth profession system, ship sailing, trade runs, multiple race and class options, as well as a unique node system where player activity in certain areas of the world will contribute to building levels of civilization, which in turn opens up new quest lines and content. In terms of business model, the game will be sub-fee with no box cost and a cosmetic only cash shop. As of making this video, the game is in what it calls Alpha 1 Phase 1. One, where it's refining its action combat systems via a battle royale testing environment. Currently this game is being developed by a team of over a hundred devs and growing, it's fully funded till launch and beyond thanks to a mixture of self-funding and publishing deals, and is aiming for a full release late late 2019. But realistically I'd expect there to be delays up to around 6 months, so possibly a 2020 release? Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is another MMO that Western audiences are eagerly anticipating, but not because it's going to do something crazy and reinvent the wheel, but because it goes back to the principles that made the MMORPG genre great in the first place. Pantheon will be an open world, old school feeling, PvE focused MMORPG with a heavy emphasis on the RPG part, where players will need to group up and socialise if they want to fully experience what the game has to offer. In terms of combat, the game will be using a traditional tab targeting system where groups will have to work together to time pulls, rotate crowd control and take a slower, more methodical approach to gameplay. When it comes to a release date, there's nothing concrete yet so this one's most likely a 2020 and beyond release, but regardless it seems to be a game trucking along steadily in development and will hopefully be that true spiritual successor to EverQuest that people have been wanting for so many years. Chronicles of Illyria is an upcoming open world MMORPG that seems to be trying to rethink the way MMOs are designed. The devs behind the game describe it as being an experience that they want to make enjoyable from the start, not just the end game, where you're part of an epic ongoing storyline. You can fill your character's days with adventuring, sieging, farming, governing towns, and increasing your family's status in the world. Unlike other MMOs, in COE your character actually ages and permanently permanently dies. Your soul is then transferred into another generation where partial elements of your previous progression is carried over. What has me personally excited about this game is that it looks extremely immersive. Your characters can climb, do parkour and interact with a lot of objects in the world. It seems like the dream game for a role player or someone who likes a slower paced experience with a focus on attention to detail. Another interesting thing about Chronicles of Illyria is the game seems to be using 
Unreal Engine 4 for its visuals, their own custom Soulborn engine for the backend, and Spatial OS by Improbable for the game's networking framework, which if you haven't heard of seems like one of the most innovative technologies to come out for online multiplayer games in a long time. No word of an expected release date for this one yet, but I'd personally expect this to be a 2020 and beyond release. Camelot Unchained is an MMORPG that's entirely focused around massive realm vs realm warfare. The development of this game is being led by Mark Jacobs, the guy who designed Dark Age of Camelot, one of the most successful pure PvP MMOs we've had. Whilst this game had a successful Kickstarter all the way back in 2013, progress with the development was seemingly very slow until earlier in 2018, when City State Entertainment secured additional funding, which seems to have really sped up progress, with the game currently being in a beta 1 state under NDA as of making this video. The impressive thing about Camelot Unchained is just how well the game runs with hundreds of players in a single area. This is a game where you can truly feel like a normal soldier attacking or defending a castle. For me, this is a game that I'm very much looking forward to because I'm a huge fan of large scale PvP and siege mechanics. I just hope the combat turns out to be fun and smooth upon release. Currently, Camelot Unchained doesn't have an announced release date, and due to the game being quite ambitious from a technical standpoint, it's hard to give a prediction, but due to the game being in a somewhat playable beta state, I'd expect it to release within the next two years. Crowfall is a game I've talked a lot about in the past. It's a unique MMO in the sense that it's an entirely PvP focused game that will actually have an end state of victory. The game describes itself as a throne war simulator where a player will join a campaign that lasts for one, three or six months, and at the end of that time winter comes and the world dies. Like Camelot Unchained, Crowfall will be tri-faction and feature destructible environments. The game also features an action combat system with a heavy focus on crafting gear and siege weapons. Crowfall is currently playable in an early access alpha state. The game was supposed to have had a soft launch in 2018, but for whatever reason it was delayed. I jump into Crowfall every now and again to check on the progress, and it seems like the game just doesn't run smoothly when there's a lot of players fighting in a small area, so hopefully this is something they can get fixed. As for a release date, it's possible it could come out at the end of 2019, however I wouldn't be surprised if it got delayed further into 2020. World of Warcraft Classic is launching sometime in July 2019. I'm sure this doesn't need much of an explanation, it's basically just a vanilla WoW official legacy server that Blizzard fans have been asking about for years. Personally, very excited about it and plan on making a progression series when it comes out. It's going to be so cool for all of us that missed vanilla WoW to see what all the hype was about and see how well the game actually stands up today. New World is an upcoming survival MMO hybrid by Amazon Game Studios that uses their Lumberyard engine. I can't talk too much about this game as I'm under NDA as of making this video, but the combat system features lock-on action combat similar to Dark Souls. Players need to go out and collect resources and build their own settlements. Crafting is a core part of progression, there will be hundreds of players per server, and it seems like PvP will be a big focus. The concern people seem to have with New World is how big will the RPG aspect to the game be? Will it just be another PvP survival game with more players per server than the standard survival game? Either way, people are excited for this game because Amazon are a company that actually have the resources to fund an MMO, and with people being invited to test the game under NDA for a while now, I expect we'll hear a lot more about this game in 2019, with an estimated release sometime in 2020 or a bit sooner. Atlas is a newly announced survival MMO by the developers of Ark that's coming to Steam Early Access on December 13th, 2018. This game was initially announced at the 2018 Game Awards, and when I first heard about it I wasn't expecting more than a few hundred players per server, but according to the game's Steam page, the goal is to support up to 40,000 players in a single world, which sounds to be a truly massive MMO experience. Whilst the game's trailer has a lot of frame drops and stiff animation, 
locations, some of the scenes shown look absolutely epic with PvP ship battles, massive sea monsters and cannon fire all seemingly possible within an area of the world. According to the game's Steam description, you'll be able to voyage to over 700 unique landmasses over 45,000 square kilometers on a ship that you've built yourself plank by plank. The game has a questing system, you can go treasure hunting and you can also build your own structures. Needless to say, I'm very excited to see how this game actually plays because the idea behind it is very ambitious and epic. I guess we'll get an idea of what it's like soon when it goes into early access. Saga of Lysemia is a group-focused, PvE-only indie MMO that's been in the works since around 2014. The game describes itself as a back-to-the-basics sandbox game with no minimap, classless skill-based combat in a lore-rich world that you can explore with your friends. I like the sound of this game a lot. It seems like the kind of thing you could commit to with a group of five friends, picking up and putting down the game together without the worry of getting ahead. I couldn't find any info on a full release date, but the game seems playable now in set testing sessions if you decide to pre-order it. Identity is an MMORPG that very recently came to Steam Early Access, and as of making this video seems to be struggling with a lot of technical issues, resulting in a lot of negative reviews. Personally, I'm waiting until things get fixed before I dedicate a video to it, but regardless, the vision for this game is extremely ambitious. It describes itself as an MMORPG where you can choose to be a criminal, a police officer, or a business person in a highly interactable world with a lot of freedom, which is kind of vague. The game's development is in three modules, the first being Town Square which was what was just released, the second being a swap mode and the third being racing. From what I can tell the intention is that eventually when everything's finished the world will open up and players will be able to buy and decorate houses, get jobs and essentially live a virtual life. It seems a bit like that old MMO Second Life if any of you can remember it. As of making this video the game's been in development for four years and has only just completed their first First module, so I'd expect it to be quite some time before a full release. I'd watch this one with caution and tempered expectations. I'm sure you're all aware of Star Citizen. This is the most well-funded, ambitious MMORPG on this list with $208 million earned from crowdfunding and a team of around 500 staff. The game hopes to be the ultimate universe exploration sandbox with a mixture of procedurally generated planets, ships that require a whole squad of people to fly, FPS shooting mechanics, and the ability to explore a persistent universe. Initially, the game was announced in 2012 and it's pretty much a meme amongst the gaming community that the game will never be released. Currently, as of making this video, parts of the game are playable in an early access state, but full release won't be for a fair few years by the looks of it. Let's hope it's worth the wait. If you're not too keen on waiting for Star Citizen, another upcoming MMORPG you might be interested in is Dual Universe. This game describes itself as a continuous, single shard sandbox MMORPG taking place in a vast, fully editable sci-fi universe focusing on emergent gameplay with player-driven economy, politics, trade and warfare. I remember talking to some of the devs for this game at Gamescom 2018 and I remember being really impressed by what they told me about the game from a technical level. The building in this game looks incredible. You can manipulate terrain, build underground bases, build spaceships affected by physics, orbital stations, and you can fly between and land on different planets without loading screens. The estimated release date for this game is currently Q2 2020, and as of making this video, it's playable via early access scheduled Alpha 1 testing. Fractured is an isometric sandbox MMORPG that was successfully kickstarted in June 2018, however was in development for a year prior. Fractured has a few unique aspects to it to set it apart from the crowd, such as races having a massive impact on gameplay. Each race has their own starting planet and depending on the type of MMO player you are, you'll be attracted to a certain race. If you want a hardcore PvP full loot experience, you can do that with the demon race. If you want consensual only 
mainly PvP, mostly focusing on PvE, pick a beast man. If you want a balance of both with a crime and punishment system, then pick a human. Additionally, your abilities in Fractured can interact with the environment, for example, ice spells in water will cause the water to freeze, electricity spells will have increased damage with AoE, and poison abilities will poison the water. In terms of progression, it's said to be a more horizontal experience than vertical, with a focus on challenge rather than repetition. So initially you'll select your starting stats, then go out into the world and progress via a knowledge system where you get abilities and attributes by simply having new experiences. The game will also feature player built towns, housing, all gear in the game comes from crafting, and the devs plan to use a combination of Unity and Spatial OS to pull off this project with an estimated release of 2021. Legends of Aria is what many people are calling the true spiritual successor to Ultima Online and is an old school sandbox MMORPG where it's up to the players to run the world. This game is all about choosing a role to play within the game's community. You can be a cell sword, a crafter, an animal tamer, a thief, a cook, go hunt for treasure, gather resources, run guilds and towns, or even get involved in real estate. Visually, the game has charming old school graphics and a nostalgic soundtrack. Starting out, you spawn in the the world with next to no information given to you that will point you in a direction. It's up to you as the player to figure out things for yourself and decide what to do in this game, which is one of the main reasons people seem to enjoy it so much. Legends of Aria is one of the few games on this list that will actually have a full release in 2019, so if you've been craving a slower paced, player driven experience with zero hand holding and full loot drops upon death, then this might be something for you. Reworld is an indie MMO that's very recently gone into development. It's set in a medieval world and describes itself as being a mod box MMO, where you can create your own world with its own rules to share with other players. Experience full loot PvP, classless professions, build houses, gather, craft, and evolve towns, as well as certain aspects of the world being procedural. Odds are a lot of this will change over time as the game's so early in development, and needless to say, there's no point speculating on a release date for this one yet. City of Titans is a superhero MMORPG that was kickstarted back in 2013 to be the spiritual successor to City of Heroes. This game is being made in Unreal Engine 4 by a team mostly consisting of volunteers and is expected to go into beta late late 2018 with a possible launch in 2019. In this game you'll make your own superhero or villain, get to explore a massive city, fight other players in PvP and engage in various missions. Whilst there's not much information known about this title, we do know that there's currently an MMORPG in development by Cryptic Studios and Perfect World based on the Magic the Gathering IP. News of this project came out around June 2017, so there's no release date and very little information about the game other than it's an MMO. Back in September 2018, it was announced that publisher Athlon Games had acquired the rights to make an MMO or MMORPG based on the Lord of the Rings IP. We don't know much about the game other than it will be free to play and set before the events of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. As of making this video, there's also no news on what development studio will be working on it. But that's pretty much it for this video guys, as of December 9th 2018, these were all of the western MMOs in development that we're currently aware of. If you enjoyed this video then subscribe for the second part to this where I cover all of the upcoming eastern MMOs. And additionally, check out my new clothing brand Epic IRL at epicirl.shop for some amazing fantasy themed t-shirts and merch. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.